Uh, hello, this is episode two of Discord Tutorials. This was made five minutes later. Uh, the next thing we are going to go over is how to mute a server and a uh, chat room. So uh, this is very, very important stuff, guys. Very important. And in the next episode, we're going to go over some even more crazy stuff, like disabling notifications. I mean, that stuff is very difficult for a lot of people, uh, but we're going to go over this you know step by step and I'll I'll guide you through it so don't don't worry uh, so the very first thing is if you notice I have a ton of servers um, that I'm a part of uh, if you for example right click on this server uh, you can right click it and say server mute server mute will mute all notifications from that server and the little white uh, kind of gray half circle that you can see on the left corner uh, will no longer be there, I believe. You may have to hit mark as red. Uh, let's see what happens. I was right. So when we server mute, it basically turns off all notifications for that server. And the amazing thing is that not many people know is that you can do this on a per room basis. This is some cool shit right here. So you see the rules channel right here? You know, right click that and hit mute hashtag rules. And that will mute that entire room. And as you could tell, it kind of gets grayed out to signify that this channel has been muted. Uh, you know, and that's how we can mute a channel and a server. And another thing you can do is you can mute yourself down here with this mute button. As you could see, my green icon is now green when I am unmuted. And when I set it to mute, it becomes muted and my green circle is now muted. Uh, we can also right click on the user and select mute or deafen. Uh, for other users, it will only show mute unless you are a server admin. Uh, and the mute feature allows you to mute that user on uh, not only this server, but all servers that you are mutually exclusive to. This is really helpful for people who are like really loud like this. Um, but you know this feature is very useful and I really highly recommend that you learn it. Anyways, I, I hope you have a great day and I hope this has been very helpful. I'll see you in episode 3 where we'll go over some more advanced features within Discord.